All right, what's going on guys? It's Sparks here and welcome to another episode of Agrarian Skies. Today I am going to pretty much finish off um, the missions revolving around our, um, what do you call him over here? Our smeltery. Uh, so this mission here is called Casting Call. To create more powerful tools and weapons, you will need to make casts for forming molten metal into tool parts. I'm pretty sure I've read all of this, so I just want to get into the nitty gritty. A task where the player can hand in items or fluids. Oh, one can also use the quest delivery system to submit items or fluids. So we've got this uh, ingot cast and a pickaxe head, and I've already gone ahead and... Um, created the tool parts as well as uh, got a piece of my iron which is right here uh, in order to cast some um, casts. So I've got uh, 20 molten gold. I'm going to use two of those ingots uh, to make casts. One for this thing here uh, and one is going to be for this thing here. All right, so we got our casts, and we can go ahead and submit this. Claim our reward. We got a liquid slime bucket, a safari net, single use, or a reward bag. I think I'm going to take the reward bag. I could take the safari net, but I can end up making safari nets later on, and I don't see why I'd need a safari net yet. Uh, so we've got a full guard cask. Cast. We got the ingot cast back. We got this boat. Feather falling. I don't know how I would use boat with feather falling, but I guess we'll figure it out. And then what the hell did that give me? Oh. A writing pickaxe. Writable. I don't understand what that would mean, but okay. So, um... We've got 16 iron, and now that we have the cast, I can go ahead and pour that in there and pour this in here in order to make gold blocks, or gold ingots, should I say, and this one will make a gold block, which then I can turn into ingots. And I'll just keep doing this until I run out of gold, so it's four ingots left. Um, so you're going to have to make ingots if you don't have enough like metal in the smeltery to create a block, which requires nine. Uh, so that should be the last one, and then it should move straight into iron, which we have six ingots left in there. And uh, this way, I can use the metals that I've created. Is that the last one? Yep, that's the last one. Okay, there's nothing else in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw my gold in here as well as... I don't know what a full guard cast is. I guess we'll figure it out later, but let's uh, move on and see what the next quest is. So this one is, it's automatic. Eventually you may get tired of moving water around in buckets. An aqueous accumulator can produce water very slowly out of thin air. Place a source block on at least two sides to speed up the water production and then use ducts to move it where it needs to go. Uh, a sprinkler from open blocks can be placed on top of aqueous accumulators to hydrate and fertilize farms. Um, as you get tired of sifting by hand, try using autonomous activators to do your clicking for you. Place three facing 
Place up to three facing the sieve and get them to right click. And set them to right click mode. Fill the inventory with the blocks you want to sift, then walk away. You'll need a vacuum hopper to automate the collection um, of the resources obtained from the sieve, so don't walk too far away until you have one of those to suck it up. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we could do this. So, Oculus Accumulator, Autonomous Activator, and a Vacuum Hopper. Hmm. Uh, let's see, Oculus Accumulator. How much? How many resources do I need? I need glass, I need a bucket, I need a machine frame, a pneumatic servo, and some tin ingots. So, how do we make machine frames? It's pretty much iron, glass, and gold. Okay, so let's make, let's see if the autonomous activator needs the same machine frame. It doesn't, but it require. it's pretty expensive. It does need a pneumatic servo, which is iron, redstone, okay, and glass. So I think I have two redstone, which is great. I have the iron, which is also excellent. Um, and I need glass. So, before we do anything, let's throw like aluminum, uh, nickel, and no, not limestone, platinum. Let's throw something. What? No, go away. Let's throw something in here in order to get blocks or, um, or full uh, I illuminate ingots. Uh, platinum, I'll throw the platinum. I don't know if platinum will mix into an alloy and I don't want that to happen. So, uh, glass, we need glass, right? So let's work on getting some glass here. I'm gonna use my stone hammer uh, to to hammer at this so I can get some uh, gravel in order to make in order to make the glass that we're gonna need in order to produce a lot of these machines right now I really don't have even a farm which I should look into maybe uh, I said earlier that I would create um, either a tree farm or just use leaves to make dirt. I think I should do that. Uh, but before we do that, let's make some of the components we need to make some of the parts in order to get some of the stuff done. Um, yeah, so I think I think 25 is good enough, right? 26. I'm going to throw that into a chest in a bit. This feather falling, whatever it is. I don't get how I would be able to use it. All right, here we go. Making some sand in order to smelt. And that sooner or later we'll be able to... I might have to move the, the sieve or whatever, or sieve, in order to, if we're going to make more than one autonomous activator, then it might be better for us to uh, move it out here somewhere. Uh, or, I, you know what, I might just look up some designs on... <clears throat> some designs on, like, how to create... Like one without the, let's see how much the vacuum hopper. Oh, there's no E and I think there's a double C or vacuum hopper. Okay. So it's a hopper, an ender pearl and obsidian. I have, that is fairly expensive and I have none of that. I can make a hopper, but I can't make any of the other things. So... Hmm. So I have to create these things. 
I get a quarter heart and I get to pick a reward bag. Let's see what other challenges we have. Uh, we have many. Mary had a butcher shop as well as the fungus among us. Let's. While sifting dirt, you may have gotten some grass seeds. If not, keep sifting until you do. Create a platform at least 6x6 six six out of dirt, 24 to 30 blocks away from your base, and plant the grass seed on one of the blocks. Wait for passive mobs to spawn in a different area and create a mob spawner at least 35 blocks away from your base. And dark for spawning and killing hostile mobs for their body parts. Rotten meat can be composted into dirt, barrels, and bone meal. Also very useful. Blah, 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 blah. So pretty much make a place where animals can spawn and a place for things to spawn. And I think I will do that off camera because that's going to be a very, very long, monotonous thing to do. And now we have fungus and mushrooms are a great source of food. Sift sand until you receive ancient spores. Plant these spores on a dirt block near a barrel filled with water to start turning the water into witch water. While the water in the barrel turns into witch, into witch water, mushrooms will spawn on the mycelium. Placing sand in a barrel of which water will make uh, soul sand. Sift soul sand uh, can give you nether plants and resources. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. How much of this? Twenty-four. What? No, give me, give me that back. Twenty-four nine nine is eighteen. Uh, and nine is, oh, I don't know. Twenty-seven? I had to count that. This, I have a feeling, is going to produce two types of metal. Some of them, because there's multiple mods installed, they will produce uh, different kinds or different versions of the ore or ingot. Uh, maybe this is a good example to show you. Nope, not, not a metal to show you that example. Uh... Uh, no, I need that in there, and I need these to come out fast. Super fast. They need to come out now. Before this is done melting. Maybe they're done? Yep, cool. So now we have aluminum. We've got iron. We've got... A lot of stuff. I do need to sift dust in order to get some more redstone for later. Um, but uh, glass, got to glass. Let's go out here now that we've got the glass, and let us. Oh, that's surprising. Let's take the iron and uh, the gold. And how was it like this? Yep, that's exactly how it was. And I'm gonna need two machine frames. Okay. Uh, the only reason I don't need two machine frames is for later. Right now, I want to create a pneumatic servo. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, e, pneumatic servo, PN, PN. And that's, okay, remember that's glass and... Uh, Redstone and the glass, or was it glass on the top and bottom, or maybe it was glass on the sides?
Okay, so we've got the machine parts and the pneumatic servo. Uh, so let's go back to the autonomous ac oculus accumulate. They have their names are too similar. Jesus, oculus accumulator. Uh, so tin, glass, and uh, an iron bucket. Tin, glass, and an iron bucket. Do I have tin? This is molten platinum that makes up for how much? Why? Why do you do this to me? Uh, we need tin. Tin, where are you? Come here. Let's get rid of this first because with my luck, I'll create an alloy and um, I'm stuck with a metal that probably has no use other than for like tools. And I could always create alloys later, which is wonderful. So let's try not to make an alloy right now. Uh, and let's throw all the tin in there. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, fifteen. That's going to make thirty. All righty. Hurry up. I'll probably cut to when it's done. Might be the best idea. All right, so uh, it's done, and I am making uh, some tin blocks um, from my tin. And I think this might be a perfect example to show you guys how they can turn out differently. So you see, like, this tin looks like this, whereas if I throw this in here, it's going to look like this. Uh, so I try my best not to... Um, try my best to keep them as one. Well, I might as well keep that because they're going to force me to make them this way anyway. They all, they all, they all do the same thing so I can mix and match. So like for the purpose of, uh, what was it, the Oculus Accumulator, uh, we'll make like a bucket, right? So here's the bucket, bucket goes up top, two glass, pneumatic servo, uh, what was it, machine frame, that's not a pneumatic servo, <laughs> and uh, the tin, right? So there is our Oculus Accumulator. And I will find a spot for it. But right now, I really don't know what to do with it. Let's, let's check out and remember how to make the Autonomous Activator. Autonomous Activator. Uh, Invar ingots. We've got the pneumatic servo. We've got the diamond and the emerald. Uh, a chest, a piston. How do we make Invar? How is Invar made? Invar. Invar, how are you made? What are you made of? Invar blend. 
is iron dust. It's two iron to one ferrous metal. Nickel grains. Wow, this is going to be complicated. I don't know what to do. Well, you know what? Let's work on, let's, um, let's be a bit uh, OCD and just change topics on what we are, are going to be collecting. Let's clean our inventory a bit. Uh, in here, I can throw all this in there as well as some of this stuff that put the machine frame in there as well let's go put our ingots back uh, we have to whip out a crook for that tree so we can replant a new one nickel ore dust there's nothing in here right so let's throw that in there um, da -da, da -da, da -da, no 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 do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm singing this, but okay, so let's throw more of this stuff in here. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, no. Hmm. What else do I need to throw in here? I think everything else is fine. We're going to grab our crook, which is in this chest, or we don't have one, but we do have an axe, so we can cut down some wood in order to make one. Uh, we'll make two just in case. And we will take out these leaves so we can get more string. Just so that we can make more um, fishing rods. And I will be back once it's done.